Aisha and her husband have four children and could live with her family anywhere in a village in Tanzania or Ethiopia. Hi. Aisha relies solely on her 20 local chickens to feed and support her family, besides a small plot tended by her husband. Unfortunately, she has scarce access to good breeds, inputs, services and markets that she needs to keep chickens alive and through them her family. When a family member gets sick, her family is exposed to the risk of extreme poverty. Women in Business is a research for development project that reaches women like Aisha in remote areas of Tanzania and Ethiopia with locally relevant breeds of chicken. Why chickens? Because they reproduce quickly. I can easily take care of them alone and I can sell them quickly if we have an emergency. They give me eggs every day for food and sell. I can take the chickens with me in case of divorce. When they reach 50 chickens, I can sell them and buy a sheep. But what kind of chickens? An earlier International Livestock Research Institute project, the African Chicken Genetic Gains collaborated with women and men farmers to identify appropriate breeds for smallholders. Corolla was the preferred breed in Tanzania and Sasso in Ethiopia because they lay more eggs and are resistant to disease. Two companies, AKM Glitters in Tanzania and Ethio Chicken in Ethiopia, now multiply these breeds. They deliver packages of day-old chicks, medicines and feed to brooders who grow them for four weeks and then sell them to farmers or consumers. But the brooders are still far from Aisha, who lives in a remote small village. How can we shorten these distances and get good breeds of chicken to Aisha? We came up with an idea. We are supporting young women veterinary graduates to act as vendors. They pick up the four-week-old chickens, medicines and feed from the brooders and deliver them to Aisha and other women that, like her, can't usually reach good markets or vet services. Now I can buy healthy chickens and grow them for four to six months before selling them at a profit, besides having eggs for my family. Months after delivering four-week-old chickens, the vendor will return to Aisha and buy chickens from her to sell in the city. Through this process, farmers, vendors and brooders will earn a fair share that will contribute to support each one of them financially. Women chicken vendors will interact with women farmers more easily than male poultry agents and vets. This way, women farmers from remote areas will more easily access good breeds, drugs, advice and markets, thereby adverting the risk of poverty.